Okay, so my hair was a little wild. I kind of tamed it down with some clippies. I love waving my hair, but it's like really crazy. Yeah. Hey clouds, what's up? And welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I asked what you guys wanted to see on my channel next. It was either get ready with me or like a sit down and chit chat about life and stuff and things. But you guys did want to do like a sit down chit chat, which I've honestly never done on this channel before kind of messed up right there so yeah i'm actually excited to do this type of video just because i haven't done this video on my channel before got my comfy chair already got my christmas decorations going you guys can't really see them because this chair takes up most of them there is a christmas tree yeah see the christmas tree and then this thing right here yeah we christmas out over here <laughs> anyways yeah Let's get started. So I'm not sure how to start this video off. It's just like a sit down chit chat, really relax, updating you guys on some things. So I'm just gonna start off with like what I've been doing recently. And then I do have like a couple planners that I have written down right here so I don't forget. But yeah, basically what I've been doing recently is if I'm not working out or vlogging or whatnot, I am at my mother-in-law's house, fishing, shooting, hanging out in the nature. And the other day I was fishing and I thought I caught a really big fish, right? Because she has a stocked pond on her six acres and there's supposed to be big bass in that pond. I thought I had a big bass, but no, I caught a turtle. That was my first time ever catching a turtle. So it was really cool. I'll pop the picture up right here. So yeah, I caught a turtle. It was, it was interesting. I tried to get the hook out of his mouth myself, but I was scared he was gonna bite me, so I had uh, Mason's little brother Marshall do it, so thanks Marshall. <laughs> yeah, I've also been working out a lot just because the wedding's coming close and we were both talking about that and the working out later on, but I do wanna tell you guys that I do work out nonstop. I work out five days a week, three of those days are strictly for the booty days, and then two of those days are for um, abs, arms, or cardio. And on some days I do cardio and abs plus arms. So sometimes I'll be in the gym for like an hour and a half to like two hours, but it's really fun. And I'll tell you guys why here in a second. And then of course I've been busy planning the wedding. We only have a couple more months to go. Yeah, anyways, lots to talk about. So yeah, let's just get right into it just because I kind of updated you guys all on everything already. Yeah, oh, besides one last update before we just start this chit chat. I mean, we're already chit chatting, but before we get into business, so SKY Beauty Co. is getting new packaging supplies. I'm so excited. I already got the custom tape. I'll go show you guys. So excited. I just feel more official custom tape, you know, to make your guys' boxes look pretty professional and just like luxurious. I am so excited. So this is the first thing that came in. I did get custom tissue paper. Oh, can't wait for you guys to see it because it's going to look so, so pretty. And then I got custom shipping boxes. Yeah. We doing the dang thing. I'm so excited just because I've had SKY Beauty for a year and it's been like a learning process of course, but I love it so much and I just wanna improve it and always make it better and just make it the best like for you guys, I promise. It's my favorite thing ever. So I just had to sh throw that out there, share with you guys and yeah, she's a beauty. I can't wait till you guys see like everything once it's sent here, once it's ready. You guys are gonna die because like I'm screaming inside. <laughs> okay, so let's get back to what I was gonna talk about today. Like I'm probably gonna go off topic and do some things, but that's okay because that's what this video is supposed to be about. I just wanna sit here and chit chat with you guys. Sorry, man, he keeps hitting my little tripod, but that's okay. Um, so yeah, the first thing I wanna talk to you guys about is the wedding. I'm so excited for our wedding, Mason and I. We've been waiting for two years. We had a two year long engagement. I mean, we've been together for five or six years now since the second semester of our freshman year in college. So excited. We only have four months. This looks like eight, four months and 20 days. Oh my God, there's so many things to do. And I'm so excited. I wish I could tell you guys everything, but I do want it to be special for you guys because I am gonna vlog the whole wedding and all that nonsense. And we do have a lot of surprises planned for like the viewers and the guests. And Oh, it's just gonna be amazing. But we are gonna go toward the location that we're having, the venue. We're gonna go toward the venue. I was trying to think of the word. Um, the reception and the ceremony at, and I am gonna take you guys along and I'm gonna film it just so you guys can see like how we envision everything. The florist is gonna be there. We're gonna go through our options because I did want a flower tunnel, guys. Flower tunnel, that screams me. I love my flowers. But 
where we're currently having our reception at right now. It's against fire code. I don't know who made that a thing, but why? So we're gonna see if we can possibly move the reception area to another building to really do the flower tunnel, or we might just scrap that idea all completely. So I don't know, but that's why I'm gonna take you guys along so you guys could see, so you guys could hear the visuals and really get the full picture. And maybe you guys can even let me know what you guys think on the flower options. Should we do the flower tunnel? Should we not? Should we switch the rooms? Should we not? Like, I really want your guys' opinions because I am the most indecisive person in the world. It takes me the longest time to like make up my mind. And a part of me really wants the flower tunnel. Like, I really want the flower tunnel, guys. Really do. But I really want to keep the place where we're having the reception. Like, it's so, so hard. Like, the place we're having the reception right now is gorgeous it's so beautiful it's like a traditional yacht club ballroom pretty the only things that i don't like about it well the only one thing that i don't like about it is the carpet but, but that's not a big deal like if we do it right no one will be looking at the carpet <laughs> and then the other building it was it was fine it was just like more plain and we would have to do a lot more i feel like if i were to like it but i don't know i don't know that's why i need your guys's help so once i do the Horseshoe Bay walkthrough slash visual vlog. Definitely give me your input because I need help. I need help. I want it to look so, so bomb, so amazing, and just so perfect. Like, I envision it. I don't even know how I envision it. Like, kind of like, just really big. Really big, lots of flowers, lots of bling, lots of white, lots of cream, lots of marble, lots of mirrors. Yeah, I don't know. I'll, yeah. So I do need your guys' help because there's a lot. <laughs> so anyways, besides that, don't just don't forget I am filming that. So that vlog will be up hopefully by the end of this month or the beginning of next month. And then my girls are going bridesmaids, bridesmaids, <laughs> bridesmaid dress shopping this Friday. No, next Friday. And I will film it for you guys. I won't give you guys like the dress that we're doing. I might. Let me think about that. But I will give you guys some other options and just like take you along just because the process is so fun. And I want to include you guys, of course, because this is like once in a lifetime for me and I want you guys to join in. So since we started on the wedding, I want to do working out next just because I am working out just because I want to look photoshopped in my wedding dress. I'm talking about like I want to get all the angles and all the angles better be perfect so yeah that's like my main motivation for working out these days is just I want to look really really bomb in my wedding dress I tried it on and it fit like a glove even though it was like a little tester but I just want to make it look like extra extra as extra as possible can't wait to guys see the dress guys oh I am gonna go get it in Feb March March I might show you guys a little sneak peek in March, maybe like a little cutout or something, I don't know. Anyways, so yeah, I've been working out since we got engaged, basically. I will put the before and after results. I recently got off of the Booty Queens workout program and started the Booty Kings workout program, and I love them both. I am still currently on the Booty Kings program. It's been about two solid months, like without stopping, without any breaks, just going straight through. And I am loving, loving the results, guys. I feel amazing. My body looks good. I feel confident and I'm just happy and motivated. And it's just so, such a good feeling whenever I finish a workout, just because these workouts, whew, they are tough. They are so hard. Like you look at them online and you're like, man, I could do that in like two minutes. Girl, no, you could do it in maybe like an hour because it's that intense. And it's just, you just gotta go slow, it's controlled, there's a lot of weights, but it's nothing you can't handle. Like, that's what I love. Like, I always love pushing myself and seeing how far I can actually go because it proves to myself, like, wow, I can do this, wow, I'm strong, and wow, I accomplished this. So it's just such, such a good feeling. And I do wanna just share this with you guys just to, like, give you a little motivation just to get into the gym because it's really good for your mind, body, and soul, like, you just feel so good, so much better about yourself, so confident, and just so, like, ready to tackle on the day, to tackle on life. Like, it's just such a good feeling. So I want all my followers to be feeling, like, their best self. And you guys, we gotta put each other first, or ourselves first, yeah. <laughs> and we gotta take care of ourselves, so definitely get in the gym. 
ASAP, no excuses. I went on Christmas, not Christmas, I went on Thanksgiving, Black Friday, and my birthday. Well, that didn't count because Black Friday was my birthday, but <laughs> So I, yeah, I just had to throw that out there just because it feels so good to accomplish a hard workout, push through it, and just like really motivate myself just to be better, do better, and just be better than I was yesterday. So I just want to share that message to you guys because I want you guys to join in on this uh, this vibe right here because uh, we are getting better. 2020 is right around the corner, so we want to get leveled up, let's just say. So, that was like a bad hair flip. So because 2020 is right around the corner and we are leveling up, honey, I want to stretch that. I want to tell you guys, if I can talk right now, I want to tell you guys the importance and the power in like not giving people control to stress you. That is so, so important. And that should be like everyone's 2020 vibe. Like, ugh. my favorite quote is, hold on, I gotta, I gotta think about this. Okay, it goes, I wanna get it perfect. It goes, um, for someone to insult you, you must give them permission first. So I love that quote so much. So basically that means if someone upsets you or says something bad about you or does anything that doesn't make you happy or makes you like, question yourself, mm, no, no, no. That means you value what they're thinking, what they're saying, what they think of you. Like, no, 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 drop that, let that go. I wanted to say a bad word, but let that sh go because you don't need that in your life. And I promise you guys, the only person you should care about, the only opinion you should care about is yourself. And again, if we're working every single day to better ourselves, to be a better person than yesterday, then you're already on the right track. So yeah, that's just my favorite quote, just because you really should only care about your opinion and your opinion alone. Of course, your family's opinions and your spouse's opinions and your close, close friends' opinions, that's fine, but just don't like criticize yourself because someone else is criticizing you. Like you're giving them permission to criticize you if you're taking it to heart. So yeah, I just like that just because it helps me remember that like, I don't need validation, I don't care, like I know who I am. If you feel that way, I'm sorry, but I know how I feel. That's just like the way I like to look at life just because it is such like a, it's just like a good feeling. I don't know how to explain it. Like it's nothing, nothing mean. I don't mean it in a vicious way. Like, oh, I don't care about your opinion. No, I care about your opinion, but like when it's pertained to me, like I don't, cool. I know who I am and that's all that matters. So I just want to share that vibe with you guys just so you guys can hopefully deal with like drama less because we should be expanding our minds, not wasting our time on little things and we should really be focusing on ourselves, spending our time on things that are actually valuable and also trying to make some money. So that's really what we should be focused on. And guys, time, time is the most valuable thing in the world like that. That is like, there's no price limit on time. So I hope you guys are using your time wisely. And this is also why I'm saying that here. Don't use your time to like create extra drama or like do anything negative because I promise you it's not worth it. It's not making you any money. It's not getting you any farther. Just drop it, leave it alone. Worry about yourself, be happy. That's the key to life. That's the key to happiness, facts. Yeah, that's just like my number one tip on how I deal with drama, just because I don't really care for it. So I give them that vibe back. <laughs> Anyways, another good tip on how to deal with drama or like how to avoid drama, just be happy. Honestly, just be the happiest freaking person you can be genuinely, 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 truly, just internally happy. And I, it's just gonna do the best for you, the best for everyone around you and the people who are trying to create drama. I mean, they're not gonna like it, but obviously when they see that you're unbothered by them, that's like the best thing ever. It really is, it really is. But yeah, just genuinely be happy. Like don't worry about anything other than you and your immediate family and your friends and whatever your job, whatever your goals are, that is all you gotta worry about. Live your life, honey. Do you, boo-boo. You all good. I'm trying to think, yeah. So don't worry about what other people say. Be truly happy. And honestly, just ignore it. Like why feed into it? Why give people the satisfaction of your time, your energy? Again, it's not worth it. So yeah, I feel like I feel like those are really good three 
top three things and I hope I really explained that correctly and you guys understand it and if you guys want me to explain it more better and maybe add some more things then let me know this is just like the things on the top of my head again I wanted this video to feel like natural just chillaxing sitting here talking I wish I didn't talk with my hands so much Ooh. yeah so I really didn't plan out what I was gonna say besides like the three points that I was trying to make with the wedding, the working out, the drama. Yeah, so yeah, that's all. I do have a lot of things coming on this channel. I'm so excited. I'm gonna be so, so annoying. I'm gonna be so annoying guys. Like I don't even care. I love doing this. I love my job. I love my jobs. And I just want to put more, more, more into it just because I feel like I could give it like a thousand percent and I've only been giving it not a thousand percent, maybe like half of that, maybe not, maybe a little more than half of that, but I want to give it a thousand percent. So I hope you guys don't get annoyed with me, but if you do keep watching, but I am going to come out with a lot of videos and I'm so excited because I feel like you guys are going to love them. They're videos that I haven't done on my channel like this one. And I'm really trying to get creative and just really trying to connect with you guys. So if you guys have any video suggestions, let me know in the comments down below. I am going to do a video on like Instagram tips, how to make money tips, more style lookbooks, maybe some more like vlogging, working out videos, just like the process of it and whatnot. And a lot more wedding stuff. Sorry, this is me. I probably look like a crazy person, but this is me thinking and talking at the same time. My problem is I don't think before I speak. <laughs> and that's why sometimes I like jumble words into one word just because that's what happens. Yeah, Skylar language. Oh, okay, one last thing. I am going to Arizona next Sunday. I'm so excited as you guys should know if you haven't watched my last video, no, two videos ago, go watch it because I am graduating on the 17th and I'm so excited. I took two years off of college just because it was right after, no, it was right when my parents were divorcing, I had to take time off just because I was so stressed out. I was honestly depressed and I never, never knew what depression was. Like I know people got depressed, but I didn't understand it. So when I got depressed, I really didn't know what was going on for a hot minute. But then when I went to the doctors and told them like, I don't feel myself, this is what's going on, blah, blah, blah. Then it fully made sense and wow it sucked because i couldn't do anything my energy was drained i really didn't feel like myself and it just it really sucked if i wanted to do something i couldn't do something so like even homework like i love doing homework i'm a little school nerd like i love learning like i think it's the best thing ever but even with my homework even with school like i just i couldn't like even when i was trying to do homework or reading a book or something like i just couldn't concentrate and it was just making it harder for me to learn and enjoy it and Oh, yeah, it was just crazy. So I had to take two years off and then I figured everything out, kept reminding myself that I'm blessed, that I'm grateful, that I have so many great things and loved ones and amazing people and just amazingness around me that it just really helped just refuel me, I guess. So that was a really big tip in helping me with my depression. I hope it guys, I hope it guys, I hope it helps you guys just because I do want you guys to keep thinking positive, keep being grateful and just keep reminding yourselves about all the blessings you have, little or big, just because every single one of your blessings is meant for you and only you. So don't take advantage of that. So yeah, I got that all settled out and I started school back again. And then finally I took my last final, last, last Friday and I'm good to graduate. Yo girl is finally graduating. So excited and yeah, so that's why I'm going out to Arizona so I can walk during graduation. I will be vlogging that just because it's fun and it's a part of my life that you guys never see. You guys never see me like doing homework or like vlogging or talking about homework. Just because when I started my YouTube channel, like I probably would have done so many homework things like how to study, how to organize, do your planner, whatnot, because that, that's how much I'm into school. But when I started YouTube, it was like a month or two before my parents got divorced. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I mean, I could still do that, I guess. So yeah, I could, if you guys want any like school homework or any organizational study tip videos, let me know in the comments down below because I will be happy to do that. Yeah, anyways, so I just kind of wanted to throw that out there just to tell you guys I'm graduating and just to also explain to you guys that depression is crazy and it is beatable and you guys can get through it. So yeah, I feel like those two 
topics should have been separate, but I hope you guys got my message. Anyways, I think this video is long enough. I hope I didn't talk your guys' ears off too, too much. And I hope you guys got some like very valuable information and hopefully got you guys excited, motivated, and just ready for 2020. I can't wait to show you guys everything about the wedding, everything about working out, everything about my just personal life and what we're gonna be doing in 2020. Cause honey, I'm ready for you. <laughs> All right, guys, I will see you in the next video. Let me know if you guys want me to do more videos like this. I honestly love just sitting down, relaxing. I have my workout video, workout video, workout clothes on still, and I'm so comfy. I just had to kind of do something with this crazy hair just because you guys should have seen it. I love doing my hair like this, but like, whoa, is she crazy? It does look good. So yeah, that was for the, uh, cover photo hopefully you guys will see it on the cover photo i wonder how close should i be to the camera anyways i'm getting off topic anyways i will see you guys next time i love you guys so much and i hope you guys enjoy this video please subscribe i'm trying to get to 3000 soon hopefully by like january february and yeah like this video as well i almost forgot about that all right clouds bye i love you hair it's kind of crazy today let me see maybe i can put it up is better